friends, welcome back for another video lesson. So today, I am with someone who will also help you in this lesson. I'm presenting you, Patricia May Bisaya. But, 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 before we get started, let me just give you some reminders. Always ready your pens, notebooks for jotting down notes. Find a comfortable or quiet place to relax your body and mind. Find your motivation. It could be your K-pop idols, something like anime, or it could be your crush. Hope all, and of course, drink your water be Stay hydrated, everyone. So yeah, let's move on to our lesson. Remember Mrs. Stevenson? She had been impatiently calling her husband in the office, but the phone was always busy. She tried to call repeatedly, but failed to speak with him. The phone in the other end was quite busy. Exasperatedly, she dialed the operator to ask for help. The capitalized words are called adverbs. What's adverbs? Adverbs are words used to modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Here is a list of adverbs and some examples. Adverbs of manner are used to tell the way in which something happens. They mainly modify verbs and are formed by adding ly to their equivalent adjectives. However, there are adverbs of manner which do not end in ly such as fast, hard, straight, and well. Here is an example. What number are you calling, madam? The operator asked patiently. Another example. He ate a chocolate cake greedily. But, how do you identify an adverb of manner? If the main verb has an object, then put the adverb of manner either after the object or before the main verb. Example, she read the letter carefully. Next is adverbs of degree. Modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs by showing their intensity or extent. Some examples are almost completely not, extremely, just, nearly, quite, do, and very. Example, after repacking the relief goods, the volunteer worker was exhausted completely. So as you can see, adverbs of degree are usually placed before the adjective, adverb, or verb that they modify, although there are some exceptions. Adverbs of place. Tell where something happens such as above, everywhere, here, nowhere, and there. They modify verbs in the sentence. Example, people have started to work from home almost everywhere. Adverbs of time. What is adverbs of time? Identify when the verb took place. Example of these are now, nowadays, yesterday, monthly, and lately. Nowadays, is staying at home, wearing a mask, and observing social distancing. Adverbs of frequency. What is adverbs of frequency? Explain how often the verb occurs. They are replaced right before the main verb in the sentence that they modify. For example, usually, never, oftentimes, repeatedly, and constantly. For example, the Department of Health constantly reminds the public that washing of hands is the best way to prevent contagion due to the virus. The kinds of adverbs, manner, degree, frequency, time, and place elaborate further the structure of your sentence by modifying its verb, adjective, or another adverb. What do you think will happen if your thoughts are well constructed with the help of these parts of speech? Surely, a well-expressed mind will receive a well-respected response as well. And now you know what is adverbs and what are the kinds of adverbs. Now you can try to answer the activities on your module. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it.